Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So today I'm working on uh, the back fender of Vigilante, and that's the car we're building by hand. And on the last video, I was explaining, uh, we're working on this section right here, this top section, and I'd like to get this back section done also so that I can start jamming on the rest of the car, rest of the fenders, whatever, and I'm taking my time on these fenders just to show you how I do it. And I know there's other people that do it other ways, but uh, this this section here is what we're working on today. And on the last video, last Sunday's video, we were working on this panel here. Ow. And so I'm gonna run this in the English wheel and uh, or the wheeling machine, but I'll get this smoothed out. And then uh, I have a, a bunch of uh, shrinks that I need, you know, tuck shrinks that need to be put in here so that this panel will take this shape here. So that's what we're working on today. So right here, I have a bunch of hammering to do. And then I got some tuck shrinks that I need to do so that I can get it to move around where I want. But I think the panel is pretty beat up right now with all the hammer marks. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on the English wheel and knock those out real quick before I do anything else. And on the English wheel, I'm running a, it's not a smooth wheel. It's got a very little crown or radius on it. So, you know, you got to be careful not to raise that panel too much. That way it's, uh, you know, not taken away from this curve here and going a little bit too much because it's hard to shrink something back once it's done that. You kind of end up throwing the panel away. So that's where we're at right now. I have a little bit of a flat spot right here that I can see that's what I'm trying to get out right now. And the reason, the how I'm getting that out is the flat spot is about right here, right in this area. And as I'm coming through, I'm kind of pulling it down a little bit. Um, and then I might tighten it up a little bit on the bottom, you know, the pressure, but it seems like it's doing pretty good right now. Yeah, that's starting to turn out pretty nice. 
Now I'm gonna beat it all up again. That's the thing with, uh, you know, using an English wheel, a planishing hammer, shrinking stuff, beater bag, all those uh, tools or equipment that you have, you know, and, and hammering on the panel, it doesn't matter how perfect you get, you'll always have that one spot that'll bug you, so you'll try to get it better, and you'll end up just beating the piss out of the panel again. You're gonna destroy this panel 10 times before you get it perfect the way you want it, you know? And, you know, tapping and dolly, and you'll get the edges perfect, and then all of a sudden you'll have to fix something else, and you'll have to shrink it, and you'll screw it all up again, and then just you just gotta have a lot of patience have a lot of patience and go back over and over and run it through the English wheel, the plastic hammer and hammer and dolly and get it flawless where you want it so you can sit it on that uh, fender buck until you're happy with it, you know? It's actually turning out pretty good. There's still a flat spot right there. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. I don't think you can, right there. So I'm gonna wheel that a little bit more right there. It's not too bad, there's a little bit, but it's getting there. We'll go ahead and uh, fit it on here and see how much more uh, tweaking we have to do to this thing. So you can see it needs to be flexed in the middle a little bit, brought up right here. And to do that, we're gonna touch shrink this bring it in tighter, it's getting really close. And then we could uh, clamp it on here after that and get an actual measurement of what we need before we start shaping it one more time. But it's getting there. <clears throat> so the panel needs to go like this. So I need to shrink it right in this section here. And this is just a homemade shrinking hammer that I made years ago. It's kind of beat up, but it's kind of like me. And this uh, shrinking stuff, I'm gonna use this bigger divot right here. I don't know if I wanna do a tight shrink yet, but we'll see what happens. So when you're doing a shrink, that's what you want right there. And then you want to take this metal here, where are we at? You want to take this metal here and push it that way. And then you want to take this metal here and push it this way until you get this crinkled down enough to where there's nothing there where it'll flatten out like this right here. And then that's your shrink right there. That's the last one I did. So this is the newest one I'm doing right now. So this is gonna get extremely loud, so you might wanna turn your uh, phone or your TV down for a little bit. But I'm gonna show you how I shrink this area there and then shrink this area there. I think that's a good enough tuck shrink where I can work on it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Try, try to do this backwards to show you. So I'm gonna work 
this area here, I'm gonna work this way. This area here, I'm gonna work that way. On a flat surface. Now this is what the panel looks like after smashing it all to piss with the uh, shrinking stump all beat up and then I took those uh, low spots out of there. So I'll go ahead and uh, run this back to the English wheel and see what we come up with. Within a minute or so, that panel's starting to get real smooth now. So <clears throat> we'll run it over and see how it fits. So we need to put a little bit more, uh, we need to stretch it in the center right here a little bit more. So we're gonna lift that to get that uh, panel to sit down on there flat. And then once we do that a couple times, from here to here is pretty close. But from here down, it's uh, you know got a little bit of lift to it. So we'll have to run this English wheel like right in here, keep hammering, keep working on it. It's getting there.
So when I get ready to do this panel here, I think the best way to do this would be to spray it with the Dicom uh, layout fluid and scribe the line and maybe cut both these panels at the same time or trim this one real carefully so that it matches up to this. That way I can TIG weld this whole seam right here. That way it makes it, you know, these two pieces turn it into, you know, one fender or whatever. Obviously you can see this, this right here, this gap, you know, everything's starting to fit here. Everything's fitting here and here. I need to raise this a lot more, but trimming it off helped a lot. That way you can really see where you're at. And I need some shrinking right here because it's starting to poke up. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go ahead and trim this edge right here up close, but not right on the line. That way it helps a lot too. And then uh, when I shrink this edge, it'll bring it down to where it needs to be or close to it before I uh, raise this uh, center panel. And I think how I'm gonna do that is I'll probably hammer a little bit in here and then run it on the English wheel with a little bit higher crown wheel. And that wheel being that it's higher crown, it'll uh, bring that center up a lot more. So off camera, I uh, hammered a little bit more in here, raising this panel, raising this side, lightly raising this side a little bit harder, shrinking it, <clears throat> and uh, you know, keep messing around with it. And now I'm just kind of smoothing it out to see where we're at. I know I'm gonna have some more work on this panel though. This video is starting to get long and uh, trying to keep these short for every Sunday's video. Ah! So it's getting closer. Still need to raise it right in the centerpiece right here. But I'll get this thing trimmed and use some vice grips to mount it on there and see what it looks like. That's why I'm talking funny. I got my damn earplugs in. And then what I'll do is uh, on the next video, next Sunday's video, we'll go from there. We'll, we'll uh, try to get this <clears throat> panel finished up cut off, stuck on there and welded. And then maybe we'll, uh, on this seam where the two panels meet, maybe we'll do a TIG welding segment or something. I don't know yet, before we start building this back panel here. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna keep this video short so that we can do the next one, on the, the short video on the next Sunday's video or whatever. I appreciate you guys, uh, all the support on the channel. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button and share the hell out of this video. And uh, if you guys like this series or have any questions at all on the English wheel, beater bag, planishing hammer, shrink or stump anything that, that I have in my shop. Leave some questions down below. I appreciate all your support and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Later.